Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're here for Friday, December 6th. What an exciting card we got. Lots of turf races. Should be a lot of fun. Let's get to right to those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, the turf course listed as good. Our first race, a six for a long sprint. The claiming event, Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and up. We have seven runners going post foot. New York time favorite was the number two. One, the wild kitty. They're off. Pum Pum Power steadied at the break. Pompous Miss is going out to take the lead. Spirit of Storm is away running in second. These two speed out from the others, opening up four on one Wild Kitty, who's away in third. All the Twitter is fourth as they continue up the back stretch. Ed Meliora fifth, and racing already 12 lengths off the lead. Pom Pom Power and My Shotzi are at the back of the field as they race for the turn. 21 and four was the opening quarter, and it is Pompous Miss and Spirit of Storm, and they're going at it. They're a neck apart, three furlongs out, five lengths ahead of one Wild Kitty, who's got another four lengths on Pom Pom Power. Then all the Twitter followed by Ed Meliora to the outside and my Shotzi. Pompous Miss and Spirit of Storm, but now Pompous Miss is getting away at the top of the stretch. Went 45 and one for a half, Pompous Miss is four in front, and one wild kitty gets going now with a furlong to go. Spirit of Storm has had enough, and then comes all the Twitter on the outside. That early pressure for Pompous Miss starting to catch up to her, but she heads the rail in the lead. All the Twitter running out of time on the outside, Pompous Miss and all a Twitter. And they hit the wire together, and there's a three way photo behind them. My Shotzi, one wild kitty, and Pom Pom Power. Number one, Pompous Miss uses her speed to hold off the number four horse near all a Twitter. Very close finish there. You see the photo. Owned by Stride Ride Racing Stable and NTS Stable, trained by Milt Wolfson, ridden to victory today by Apprentice Edgard Zayas. We're on a good turf course for our second race. It's one mile and one sixteenth. A claiming event for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Scratch the one, scratch the nine. Couple of jockey changes on the six. It's Luca Panici. On the ten, it's Carlos oh. Lugo. Away to a good start. Solicitation and Ray Rocket fire out for the front. These two are the most speed, and Logan Street is third, just to the outside of them. Then it's Starship Windsor, who's on the far outside, four deep, as they race into that first turn. Saving all the ground in behind the leaders is Gallon Patriot in fifth. After that, it's Cantonero, Chuffed to Bits, down toward the inside, Wilco's Bullet. Saturdays for fun is second last, and Cathedral is the trailer as the field makes their way to the backstretch. Solicitation ran 25 and 1 for the opening quarter mile. Three pursuers alongside Ray Rocket, Logan Street, and on the far outside, Starship Windsor. Four of them together, and Logan Street's going to check out of that group and now sit back in fourth. And then it's Gallon Patriot in fifth, four and a half lengths off the lead. Cantonero's next, and then Chuff to Bits. Saturdays for fun is nine lengths behind right now. Then Wilco's Bullet and Cathedral at the back. 49 and one for the half mile. They move into the far turn. Solicitation, the leader by a neck. Ray Rocket is second. On the outside is Starship Windsor, and Logan Street is fourth just in behind them. Gallant Patriot fifth on the inside, then chuffed to bits. Cantonero's at the rail. Saturday's for fun is next. Wilco's bullet and Cathedral, and they take closer order as they move to the top of the stretch. And now Logan Street makes a run on the far outside for the front. Just outside of Starship Windsor, Solicitation is running in third. And then it's Cantonero into the final furlong, and Logan Street and Javier Castellano have the lead. Late speed from Cantonero to the outside, and then comes Solicitation at the rail. It is Logan Street and Cantonero, and Logan Street does it. Cantonero was second, and then came Solicitation, and fourth is close between Cathedral and Starship Windsor. The favorite number eight, Logan Street, scores in the bottom half of the early daily double, owned by Will Shatine, trained by Lisa Lewis, and ridden to victory today by Javier Castellano. We'll take a short break and be back for the third race in just a moment or two.
Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. Your way to play. Ocala Breeder Sales Company, where champions and grade one stakes winners are sold, presents the next event on our sales calendar, the OBS Winter Mix Sale, January 22nd and 23rd. OBS, we measure success by performance. Hey fans, you want to see the Gulfstream Park replay show? It's on GulfstreamPark.com each and every race day. The action continues at Gulfstream Park, the third race to six for a long sprint under allowance, optional claiming conditions, Phillies and Mads, three-year-olds and up. Big favorite in here, number two, sweet and discreet. They're off. And a good even start here, it is Magic Mesa who goes out to take the early lead. Dalamera to the inside, broke second, and that it's Blazing Bling, love to score on the outside. Sweet and Discreet, the favorite, has the rail, now packed by four Aria, and Sweet and Discreet is second last at this stage, five lengths off the lead and under a ride. The trailer is Jane of All Trades, and they race for the turn after an opening quarter mile in 21 and 4. And Magic Mesa has opened up two and a half lengths now. Salamara loved to score on the outside. Sweet and Discreet is up into fourth, riding the rail. And then comes Four Arias in fifth. Jane of All Trades gets going from sixth. And Blazing Bling is at the back of the field. They're coming to the top of the stretch. And Magic Mesa, Mesa and Orlando Boca Chica trying to take them the distance. Sweet and Discreet slips through on the inside, takes second at the top of the stretch. A furlong to go. Magic Mesa, Sweet and Discreet, has been under a heavy drive, brushed with Salamara right there at the eighth pole. Magic Mesa still there. Sweet and Discreet and Salamara chasing her home. Magic Mesa, Sweet and Discreet's gonna get there. Ran down Magic Mesa in the last rides. Then Salamara and four Aria. Number two, Sweet and Discreet, comes from just off the pace to win it for E. Paul Rosham Stables, LLC, trained by Todd Pletcher, ridden to victory today by Jersey Joe Bravo. The fourth race, a five-and-a-half furlong sprint claiming event for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races since June 6. Scratch the number two, Bidham. Note the jockey on the 10 is Carlos Lugo on the 11. It's Jonathan Gonzalez. They're off. A centurion out for the lead. Why not Gray Boy and Blings Express also flashy out of the gate. Quiz Whiz came out running in fourth. And then on the inside, it's JJ's Lucky Train in fifth. Smart Humor is right alongside of him. Break of another two to congrats, Criminal. Then it's Tiger Distinction. Key reversal to the inside. And drinks to go is the trailer as they race into the turn. And the opening quarter mile goes in 22 seconds flat. A Centurion, the leader, Why Not Grey Boy, Blings Express, and Quiz Whiz edging up to them on the far outside. Smart Humor gets going, too. JJ's Lucky Train has five lengths to make up. Key Reversal and Congrats Criminal are next. They're coming to the top of the stretch. And it's Quiz Whiz, who takes the lead on the outside of Blings Express. A Centurion has given way. Then Smart Humor and JJ's Lucky Train on the far outside. Quiz Whiz, Blings Express battling on the rail. Smart Humor on the outside. Quiz Whiz in front close to home. Quiz Whiz. Very close for second. Blings Express or Smart Humor. JJ's Lucky Train fourth. Number six, Quiz Whiz returns from the layoff to win it for Run Hard Stables. Trained by Giuseppe Iacidernia and ridden to victory today by Jorge Bracho. The fifth race, a one-mile event, maiden claiming event for maiden Philly two-year-olds. Two scratches to report in the race number nine, Dakura, also a scratch. Number ten, Cinderella time. They're off. Here comes Honey Boo Boo was slow to get going. Slizara had a good start and goes out toward the front. Now is joined in between horses 
by sharp words on the inside, Felicidades and Seduccion. And they're all showing early speed as the field races down the chute. And now it is Sharp Words who hits the front and leads by a length and a half. Felicidades is second. second. Saruk Shon on the outside is running in third. On the inside is Go Solo in fourth. And then comes Lazara, followed by Scarlet Dixie in between horses. Then Jamie's catch, and here comes Honey Boo Boo, is the trailer. 23 and 3 for the opening quarter mile, and Sharp Words is out there by 2. Felicidades is clearly running in second now. Slazara goes up on the outside. At the rail, it's Go Solo in fourth. Seduction follows in fifth. Scarlet Dixie, Jamie's catch, and here comes Honey Boo Boo. 46 and 3 for a half mile. Sharp Words is the leader as the field rounds the far turn. Sharp Words out there by two. Felicidades is second, and then comes Lazara third to the outside. Well, Go Solo hangs in there at the rail, and they've left the others behind. They're coming toward the top of the stretch, and Sharp Words turns for home in front. Goes solo, saves all the ground. And then it's Felicidades, followed by Slazara, who's laboring back there in fourth into the final furlong. Sharp Words, something in reserve here. Sharp Words pulling away. And then comes Go Solo and Felicidades, followed by Slazara. It's going to be Sharp Words to go all the way. And then it was Go Solo, followed by a photo among Felicidades. Here comes Honey Boo Boo and Slazara. Number one, a Sharp Words uses his speed to win it for owner Tracy Pynchon, trained by Jose Pynchon, ran to victory today by Luis Saez. Don't touch that remote. We'll be back for the sixth in just a couple of moments. Starship Truffles is going to blitz him in the grade one Princess Rooney. Judy the Beauty, second best. And it is Moreno who's going to win it wire to wire here and strides under the line as a much the best winner of the Dwyer. Better lucky with Day at the Spa. Better lucky to take it by head on the line. Go Sapper, scary good in 2013. And among the leaders by stakes winners again this year, standing at Adina Springs. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Basilou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Basilou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. Welcome back for our sixth race of the afternoon. It'll be contested at one mile on a good turf course. It's a claiming event for three-year-olds and upward, which have never won two races. Scratch the five, get back. Scratch the eight, Coliseans. They're off. Mr. William came out well. Starship Avenger on the outside, defiant, and on the rail trading secrets, and these four are out for the lead. Then it's Musical Journey. Running in fifth position down on the inside. They're being followed by Simon Eyes on the far outside and Cairo Six in between horses. One Golden Road saves all the ground just to the inside of Farmer's Club and there's seven lengths off the lead and the early trailer is Z Maitre D. And the field makes their way to the back stretch with trading secrets in front to a 25 second flat opening quarter. Mr. William is right alongside and these two are head and head onto the back stretch. Starship Avenger, two lengths off of them. Defiant is next on the inside. Cairo 6 is fifth right now with four lengths to make up. And then comes Musical Journey just to the inside of him. Break of another two. Then Simon Eyes outside of Farmer's Club. One Golden Road is down on the inside. It's going to need some running room there. Four and a half lengths off the lead as the pack tightens up. Z Maitre D trails and they went 51 flat for a half mile. Into the turn, Trading Secrets and Mr. Williams, and now the tempo quickens. They're an echo part, and Starship Avenger comes up and after them. Defiant waits for running room, fourth in behind the leaders. Cairo 6 is going up on the far outside, and then it's Musical Journey. One Golden Road comes off the rail, and they're into the stretch, and Starship Avenger goes up on the outside to challenge for the front. Trading Secrets, Mr. William, one Golden Road is coming strongly, and Cairo 6 steadied, clipped heels there. One one Golden Road's got the lead and is pulling away. One Golden Road and Javier Castellano to score by four in the end. Farmers Club got up for second, Starship Avenger, and then Z Maitre D. 
Number four, one Golden Road scores for owners Ken and Sarah Ramsey, trained by Mike Maker, and that gives jockey Javier Castellano his second win on the card. Our seventh race, six furlong sprint on the fast main track, claiming event, three-year-olds and up, of which had never won two races, scratch the one tempered threat, and the eight, Gaetano T. They're off. And Grand Jet Setter came out running to take the lead. Armor is away with speed to the inside. These two out the best. Then it's Mile High City, be a wildcat to the outside, and Winter's Coming is fifth, racing down on the rail, four lengths off the lead. Two and a half more back to Celtic Stride. Then it's Risky Guy, and Decisive David is at the back of the field at the entry to the far turn. 22 and two was the opening quarter mile. And the leader is Armour with Grand Jet Setter right alongside second. Mile High City is two lengths off of them and edging up toward the front runners now. Be a Wildcat ridden along for more in fourth. Then Celtic Stride followed by Risky Guy to the inside. And Winter's Coming is dropping back. Winter's Coming not going on here as they come to the top of the stretch. 45 and one for a half mile. Grand Jet Setter on the outside at the rail. It's Armour. And Grand Jet Setter's got the lead at the eighth pole. Mile High City's closing in, and so too Celtic Stride on the far outside. Grand Jet Setter, Celtic Stride on the far outside. Mile High City coming down to the line. Grand Jet Setter takes it for Paco Lopez. And then it was Mile High City, Celtic Stride and Armor. It's number five, Grand Jet Setter, holding on the win it for Live Oak Plantation, trained by Eddie Plisa Jr., ridden a victory today by Paco Lopez. We're back on a good turf course for our eighth race, seven and a half furlongs, maiden claiming event for maidens three, four, and five-year-olds. Scratch the one, braced by God. Scratch the two, R. Kashmir. And scratch the also's, 13, 14, and 15. They're off. And a Golian fires out well. Here's Cowboy Prince, though, to take the lead as the field races for the turn. And Cowboy Prince is joined by Win Exchange on the inside, who now comes on through to take the lead. Then lay it down in behind horses. Down on the inside there is Ketone, who settles into stride now into third. And then comes Crazy Clown Time to the outside. To Dare is to do is next. A goalie in is back to mid-pack after a good start. Six lengths off the lead. And then it's Duty Paid to the outside. They're being followed by Peter Castleboy, who races just to the inside of Majestic Hollywood. The trailer is Skip's World, and the quarter was 24 and 3. And now the field races up the back stretch, where Win Exchange is the leader by two and a half lengths. And then it's Cowboy Prince, Crazy Count Time, third to the outside. Ketone follows in fourth, four lengths off the lead. To Dare is to do is next. Lay it down, has got five and a half lengths to gain, and then a Golian. Sent along on the outside is Peter Castleboy, Skips World, racing in behind them. Work to do for Duty Paid. Duty Paid is second last and not keeping up. Duty Paid not going on today. Win Exchange is the leader. Win Exchange coming to the top of the stretch with a two-length lead on To Dare Is To Do. On the far outside, Lay It Down is trying to close in. Into the final 16, Win Exchange. To Dare Is To Do. Lay It Down on the far outside. And Skips World who dives to the inside, but here's Lay It Down. Lay It Down, Skips World. Lay It Down by a neck on the wire. Skips World was second, win exchange was third, and it's close for fourth. Number six, lay it down, lays it down in the stretch to win it, and that gives owners Ken and Sarah Ramsey their second victories on the card, and trainer Mike Maker his second win on the card, ridden to victory today by Julian Leparou. We'll take a short break and be back for the ninth and feature race in just a minute or two. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. Your way to play. If you've got your crew in Miller Lite, you've got Miller time. Grab me one. It's Miller time! 
but what if one of your crew is Ken Jung? <laughs> Zoink! What's with the pig? Wait. No way! <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry I'm late, I came straight from work. Man, this line's ridiculous. That's a joke. King! I'm that guy from that thing! Give me one! Miller one. one. Man, hell no. Hey, wait! It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. The ninth race, a five furlong sprint under allowance, optional claiming conditions for three-year-olds and upward scratch. The one, Mr. Baker, scratch 13, 14, and 15. And note the jockey on the two is Carlos Lugo. Ah. And it's Free West out quickly to take the lead, and Free West opens up right away to a two-length lead. Starship Sulu away running in second, Kingston Bay is third. On the far outside, Starbridge Lion goes up in fourth. A nice rendition behind them in fifth as they move for the turn. Then Colonel Red on the far outside, followed by Party Lad Wire Funds along the rail. United States 1 is third last ahead of Dixie Deputy and Ari's Pride. Around the far turn, Free West. Out there by two and a half, now three lengths. After a 21 and two quarter Free West alone as they come to the top of the stretch. Kingston Bay off the turn in second, and then it's Starship Sulu third to the outside, followed by wire funds along the rail. It is still Free West. Free West holding on to the lead. Wire funds is closing on the outside in Kingston Bay between them. Wire funds. Wire funds and Paco Lopez up in time over Free West. Kingston Bay was third and United States won fourth. Number seven, Wire Funds closes to win it for owner Andrew Sully, trained by Patricia Ferro, and that gives Jackie Paco Lopez his second victory on the card. The tenth and final race, seven and a half furlongs on a good turf course, is a maiden claiming event for maiden two-year-olds. Scratch the 13, 14, 15, and 16. They're off. Twin distinction on the inside comes out to take the early lead. And Caesar Run is also showing early speed as well as the field makes their way into that first turn. These two are 1-2 into the turn. And saving all the ground is Mesa Way, who's running in third position. Then comes Silver Armor to the outside, fourth by another two, followed by Ben Jacob, Malleables in between horses. To the outside is Nantucket Sound. Then Daddy's Kid along the rail, Giant Cat track telling to the outside, two and a half back to Confederate Money and Skylar Blue. 24 and three was the opening quarter mile, and Twin Distinction and Caesar Run set the pace. They're neck apart on the lead, two and a half ahead of Mesa Way and Silver Armor, fourth on the outside. Ben Jacob is fifth along the rail. Malleable ridden along for more speed on the far outside. Starts to lose ground. Trek telling and Daddy's Kidder next. And then Giant Cat, Nantucket Sound, Confederate Money and Skylar Blue. Twin Distinction and Caesar Run. Couple of long shots still out there after a 49 and two half mile. Caesar Run starts to give it up. Twin Distinction's taken on now by Mesa Way. And Mesa Way rallies up to take the lead. Ben Jacob is next. Caesar Run is fourth. On the far outside, Daddy's Kid and Track Telling coming on two. They're into the stretch. Mace away. On the far outside, Daddy's Kid is closing in with a rush. Here's Daddy's Kid on the outside of Mace away. And Daddy's Kid's going to go on and score. Daddy's Kid and Juby Abitzba to beat Mace away. Close third between Track Telling and Skylar Blue. Then Giant Cat and Ben Jacob. Number 10, Daddy's Kid scores in a nightcap for Olympia Star Incorporated, trained by Ed Coletti Sr. and ridden a victory today by Juby Abiza. The pick four, four of four, paid $313.10. The pick five, five of five, eight forty-eight sixty-five. Four of five, twelve dollars twenty cents. The pick six, six of six, paid three thousand fifty-eight dollars twelve cents. There are some tickets, so we'll have a fifty thousand dollar jackpot. And here are today's claims.
That wraps up Friday's action. Remember, on Saturday, right here at Gulfstream Park, the claiming crown $1 million in purses, and we have the ultimate eight. We have a 10 cent wager, ultimate eight, $100,000 guaranteed in the pool, and you bet those eight claiming crown races and you might get lucky 75 percent goes to the winner 25 percent goes to the second place finisher should be a lot of fun should be a real big pool an exciting day you got to be here good night and good luck